my friends. Welcome back here to the Man Hunt. Welcome back to another Wednesday video from The Man Collects. My name is Chris, and I welcome you back to the channel. Welcome you to the channel if it's your first time. We're going to follow our usual formula here on Wednesdays. We're going to go for a little toy hunt. Some more places I visited in the past probably week, week and a half, where I've been on the road a lot. I haven't been able to fit in some of the other hunt videos. We're going to take a look at some of those stores. Then we're going to pop back here to the Man Hunt. I'm going to show you what I bought on those toy hunts. I've got a bunch of pre-orders here that have come in, plus a couple of boxes from some good friends of mine good friends of the channel that came in the mail as well that we're going to take a look at uh, we'll talk a little bit of toy news anything else that pops in this old gourd of mine before we wrap this up but for now let's go hunt here we go we're at walmart around durham north carolina i think this is off the morrisville exit looking online this one has the highest ratings so i mean that means it's got to have the best stuff right but let's head in here this morning this loud music lately is killing me anyways what we got here we got deadpool and wolverine wolverine pop um there's the naked ronin i don't see tatsu they do have the battle damage mikey there the last ronin check out the head sculpts coming yeah there's a barcode but again no master tatsu what else we got i got the leather face figures down here i didn't know there were more than one in this little way you got a bloody leather face there and then you've got a Pretty Woman leather face. Looks just like Julia Roberts from Pretty Woman in that one. Of course, he's got the makeup on his mask while they're saying that. Another Pretty Woman. Well, that appears to be it for collectors. But hey, we do have some stuff. you got leather face there and you got the last Ronin. So let's get back to the toy section now and see what they got. All right, here we go. What do we got? Transformers on clearance. We've seen that quite a few times. Uh, okay, that's not on clearance. That mask was at $44. Full price. Got a movie Donnie up there. Uh, a lot of Kong and Godzilla. Once again, I'm going to talk about that thing. Big RC Godzilla. Awesome. Uh, Mutant Mayhem. A lot of stuff stuffed up top, so we got to pay attention up there. What do we have? There's Raphael. So, man, a lot of turtle stuff. Where's the retro? Here we go. Movie star Leo, movie star Donnie. Well, they ain't got crap. No, I'm gonna say that. Rocksteady there is an awesome figure. So is Baxter. Hoping to see some new ones though. And what in the, what is this? This wave is not supposed to be at Walmart. I got two of them. Got Icarus and Kazar. And the Sabu Build-A-Figure wave. Huh. I thought these were fan channel only. But apparently, these are at Walmart. Now they were available on the app at one point to order. So I wonder if somebody's ordered them off the app and returned them in store. We're gonna get a picture of that though with Walmart tags or people are like, you didn't find that at Walmart, it's fan channel. Um, Egghead, classic Loki, Ollie's stock, not interested. Unless it's at Ollie's, there's a chance it would be interested. What else we got? Dinosaurs, nanopods, find them at Ollie's, they're 99 cents. I've got one, I think this is the wave I might have. I don't know, let's see. Agent Venom, who's the, yeah, Golden Star Lord, I got the whole set of those from Ollie's. Got lucky, bought like 16 maybe of them, and got them all. I only had like four duplicates. Um,. I don't see anything good up there. It has to make far of them, not anything really to write home about. Kind of hoping coming this far from the house, you might run into Vampire Shazam. Man, there's Dark Father build a figure. Sinestro, Lord Justice, Lord High. There's a fidgetal Batman. You got anything good in Micro Galaxy? Bunch of tie interceptors. Fish fins, A wings, tie fighters. Me. Tech deck stuff. Uh, yeah. Let's see what we got on diecast. There is the non chase Bronco. It would be awesome if they had the chase. I wouldn't. Another common. And another common. No red wheels, no chase. Unless this one's it. Let's see. Is it going to have it? Is it going to have it? <gasps> no. They got a lot of that common one though. Um, 
we're not going to take too long so i don't know how much i will film today at ishcon so i want to save time on the hunt so don't whatever video i put this stuff in doesn't end up being five hours long uh, what else some hot wheels down through here what is this huh, that's kind of cool i remember seeing that one here a while back uh, off-road rallies what have we got here we got four six three four six two three four six two three four and six there's a bunch more two stick in the middle with you and oh, we've already got those quit looking at them uh batman racer verse arc of night batmobile And as I always say, we'll dig through these. Oh, they got the little stubby Batmobile. I haven't seen this in a while. There was a treasure hunt of this thing at one point. I was not aware of. I never found it that I know of, but. All right, guys, let's go dig through this stuff some more. If I find anything, I'll show it to you. If not, Matt may do it for this one. A look here, the wrestling and stuff. Not a whole lot going on. We got Max Caster and Bowens. Have that little wave. You got a cane, and then the rest of them are older. Papa Shango, Mankind. Uh, you got Scarlet Duke, Rakondo, so you got the whole retro card, Joe Wave there, the first one. There's Skeletor, cartoon collection, Prince or Sorceress Tila, not Princess Tila, and Three Cranes. But sadly, no Merman. I don't think Merman does not exist. That would have gotten Ultimates. So. Alexa Bliss took a little bit of a beating there, it's the only one they got. 4750 still for the add-at. Somebody found out for like ten dollars. Um Mario figs, eh, the older stuff. We got a lot of this Genesis figure. Streets of Raid or Axel. I don't see the werewolf from Altered Beast. That one's someone won't really seem to sell that great. Makes me worry they won't do won't continue that line. Uh not seeing much else, guys. We're gonna cut this one off. We're going to see if it's time yet to get to a target. If it is, we'll go to one. If not, I don't know. We'll have to kill some more time, I guess. But I'll see you someplace else right here soon. And now we are at Ross in Waynesboro, Virginia. Uh, one thing they see, I see here, I haven't seen a Ross yet. 25 bucks. This best action avatar set. You got Aang, Zuko. Oh, I'm forgetting the names. I know Madison likes that little character quite well. And their names are on the back, so I'm sorry. Toph, Toph, maybe. Oh, what was the girl's name? Sokka's the boy. I can't remember. Anyways, finally seeing that thing here. Everyone get a picture of that before we leave. Some stuff stuck down there on the bottom. There's a Dragon Ball up top. There's a Spider-Man Amazon exclusive. We'll look at that. Second time seeing that one on the current road excursion. Ooh, I almost knocked that stuff off there. Do you see that? Kind of clumsy old man collects. Um, I see some of the Halo four-wheeler sets there. Got those big anime figures. There's another Avatar set back in there. There's Spidey Man. Uh, da, 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 da. DC metal figs. That's the same one we've been seeing. Doomsday. Yeah. Not going to dig out the other avatar set. We've already looked at it. Anything else crammed back in here? Doesn't appear to be. Oh, I see some Masterverse down there. Oh man, my ankles again. Our knees. What have we got here? Oh, that's cool. We got Faker. That's actually a pretty cool looking figure. Look at that face. And they got Merman. If I can find some shelf space here to sit them, we'll take a look at them. There you go. Faker and Merman. That one's a possibility. We're going to think about that. Take a picture as well. Um, somebody grabs him before I get back. That's all right. But we're going to leave him sitting there for a second. Let's 
some marble stuff. Big boy, Coco Melon, some more Halo. Uh, Monster Hunter, or Hunter Hunter, or whatever that is. Modoc Papa Gamma Rai Carry. There's a Wolverine dog toy or something. Yeah, and dog squeaker toy. There he is. You can tear Wolverine up. You think that'd break the dog's teeth out trying to bite the adamantium. I see a Jurassic Park something other. Ninja Legends. Uh, Shaga. Optimus Prime. And we may have to check out for just a second. I'll be back. Point for a talent fighter. Okay, everybody. The only thing they've got here, they've got this little... Muldoon getting mauled by the raptor thing from Pops. That's really the only thing they've got. I've got to head out of here. I have recorded too much stuff this week and my own iPhone storage is getting full. So I'm going to cut this off. We're going to clear out some space on the old phone. So I'll be ready to film with the next stop. But yeah, the only thing I really had here was those Masters figures. Well, they got all kinds of Hot Wheels. I'm going to doubt that's the Super. I got to look up the Super what it looks like. I'm sure the wheels are probably different. But a couple of those sitting there. Um... There's a DC with Batmobile, Ark of Night with the gold lines. Eh, I see much else up there. Much more down here too. Not seeing any Transformers anywhere. Eh, what else we got? I guess we got pretty stock Hot Wheels this morning. Um, we'll dig through this stuff like I usually do off camera if I do find anything. As you can tell, I rarely ever find anything because I don't hardly ever turn the camera back on to show you. But hey, if you don't look, you don't know. I got a bunch of those import cars, stars and stripes, or the import line. There's SpongeBob. I found the whole wave of these twice on this trip. Four, one, two, three, four. They got five of five. They do not have five of five. Let's just down here. Nope, all on but one. All right, what else we got here? There's some more of those imports. I wonder which ones they don't have. They got a bunch. I'm going to dig through and see if they got the wave of those. If they do, I'll show them to you. But again, I won't make you watch me do it on camera. Just in case they don't. I think Darth Vader truck's cool. Um, before we get too far down the line, action figures is behind me. We'll try to do both sides at the same time here. I got some of the new Mutant Mayhem stuff there from the Turtle Shipper. There's an Iron Man figure. Oh, Mexican 97 Wave 2 Magneto. Whiplash, that's all they got in Iron Man. Big Optimus Prime, I don't think I've seen that at Walmart yet that I can remember. Well, there's more Iron Man figures. Somebody tore into Egghead. There's She-Hulk. You don't always see her on the peg. Model 20 Iron Man and Model 9. So I got the best two. So I got the whole wave. One, two, three, four. Who are we missing? I'm missing the gold Iron Man. They don't have that one. But you got this one. That's number two. This one back here, in my opinion, is the best of that wave. Just because of the classic iron. This was the Iron Man when I started reading comics. Captain America and the Avengers, all that good stuff. The She-Hulk figure is awesome as well. So there's those. What else we got up through here? Get those Infinity Saga figures we've seen a thousand times. Kind of hoping to see the gold Iron Man laying around somewhere. Um... I don't think this one has McFarlane or Motu or G.I. Joe. What else we got here in our... That looks new. I haven't seen that before. Roger Dodger and the Poison Pinto. Looks like some new two-packs, perhaps. Mandalorian Skate... Or that's Boba Fett. Man, I got that wrong. I apologize, Hot Wheels people. I mean, Hot Wheels. Star Wars people. It's been a long week, all right? And I've been looking out the windshield a lot. A lot of driving... A lot of down dead time just doing that. My brain's a little fried. More so than it usually is. I got the Raphael car up there. What we got in big die cast? Uh, spider buggy. Got the little mystery machine there. That thing's pretty cool. Loki and his wagon. Nothing really going to dig through down there. A bunch of pink slips here. This is actually where I think I found the pink Batmobile. I think it was this store. Uh, Turtle Wax, Pontiacs, I don't see any of the pop culture Hot Wheels. 
Let's shift back over here again. Our dinos. Camp's still shaking where I put She-Hulk up there. Bunch of stars. Oh, they got an ATT. That's the first time I've seen this at a Walmart. I assume it's the same price as Target. Got Special Forces TIE Fighter, A Wings, a Poe Dam Run, B Wings, A Wings, Interceptors, some TIE Fighters, and an A Wing. Oh, oh man, shoulder cracked. Um, that's probably the Stone Cold truck. Yep. Uh, oh, here's something new. I think this is part of Collector Con, Walmart exclusive Brody King. I haven't seen that thing yet. There's a barcode. Anybody looking for it? I got any more of them? Doesn't look like it. I wonder if he's 1450. I would doubt it, but you never know. 32 there for Penta. Belair. Hollywood. Charlotte Flair. Um, all those are Bray Wyatt. One Papa Shango. Zerok. Common DiBiase. Do they have a Chasey Yoki? Nope. There's two DiBiase's. You don't see him a whole lot. Or I don't anyways. Uh, Shinsuke. Let's see if that's a Chase. Oh, it is. There's Chase Gay, Chase Amora. And once again, the red means Chase. If those straps are white, it is the common. And there's also, I didn't really pay attention to this, to running roughshod talked about it. You got two different doms. You got a dom like that, and then some of them, the mask is on him. I don't know if that was a production error, if it's something they just meant to do to drive collectors crazy to try to buy an extra Dom figure. I don't know. They don't have Samus, do they? They do not. Um, Among Us. Got the Series 3s. That looks like that's going to do it, guys. But yeah, we got some Brody King stuff here. We got all kinds of Hot Wheels to look at. Got some Iron Man figures, not a bad little Walmart stop. We're gonna look around a little bit more. If I do see anything else, you will see it. Gonna dig through those Hot Wheels, find anything good, you'll see it. But if not, we'll see you at the next stop. Alrighty, historically when I've hunted these bigger targets like this, they never have crap. So let's see if this one is going to break that tradition. What do we got here? Transformers 1, Ooh, what's that? A little Walkman or something? voice changer hmm that could be fun start doing my wrap-ups with that and talk like optimus prime i've never seen this before hot shot are these new guy transformers people there's a barcode just in case oh they got the party wallop i'm getting no, i got like five party wallops wow well never mind they do have some stuff oh what do we got over here i'm getting too easily distracted there's some hot wheels okay we're back now sorry Nucleus. These are probably like old. Somebody's gonna comment and be like, dude, those are like three years old. Sorry, guys. Not a Transformers, dude. I haven't seen them, so I'm going to assume they're somewhat new. Okay, let's see. The party wall, a bunch of those. Got a couple different. Oh, there's Skyquake. We have seen him. I think I've seen that lizard looking Scorpion Megatron. There's the two-pack. We've seen that several times. And there it is again. <laughs> hey, here's a platinum. Well, he's got one platinum find. Metallo. Baby Sinclair. G.I. Joe two-pack. We got Homer and Otto of the Simpsons wave. Egon. I don't see Marvel Legends yet. That's some overlooking them. There's some wrestlers and stuff over there. I still don't see legends. I guess they're on the back side of this. Never mind. Just look, man collects. Shut up. People don't watch you for your mouth. They want you to see what you find. So find something. Uh, Bat Zorro, Bizarro, no Bane. We do have the new superpowers. We got the Flasher Superman, Black Manta, Dark Knight Returns, Booster, Gardener, and Metamorpho. They got the whole wave. We will come back and line those up for a thumbnail. I'm trying to stay out of these. The Black Manta figure looks sweet. Uh, the Batman, I could have showed these a little closer. It's just flying through them. This is the other. These two right here. Or these three, really. Right there's your three best of that wave, I think. Gardener, Booster, and Manta. 
and now I want pictures of those. I will come back and straighten that up before I leave. There's more two packs. And we got another Naga hide. He seems to be showing up all over the place right now. Cool looking figure. And he comes with that boar, man. That's awesome. Just in case you didn't get it. Want to moan and Pumba action. All right. McFarlane. Whoop. Let's get around to the other sections here and see what we can find. That seems to be it for the Matadi Mac and the Transformers, but let's see what else they got here. All right, music's getting louder in here. I may have to do some muffling, so I apologize, but I have looked all over this place, guys. I can't find Marvel Legends. They gotta have some Marvel Legends somewhere. Other than that little rack we saw on the front. I mean, maybe they don't, but that would suck. That's Privateer, that two-pack. The Brett Baker thing, or uh, the head is Brett Baker. Yeah. Uh, they got some cartoon collection. Skeletor, Man at Arms, and Skeletor. He Man and Keldor and that. Oh, we got Pizza Throwers. Pizza Thrower. I don't see any toilet taxis anywhere. That toilet taxi is hard to find. That seems to be a lot more popular than the thrower. Uh, what do we got up here? Anything new? No, got some street sharks, a couple of slash. This one's cool. <laughs> well, that dinosaur's got like a fro. Or a mohawk, not a fro, mohawk. Shows how old and out of touch I am. I don't know the hairstyle names. Um, What have we got here in the Mario figs? Nothing we haven't seen a thousand times here and at Ross. And nothing really to write home about down through here. Well, there's a Ronin two-pack and a Transformer. Ironhide, we've seen him before. Rhinox. Okay, guys, we're going to keep looking for some Marvel Legends. Maybe we're going to check collector section see if there's anything over there. But from what the man collects has discovered so far, the only Legends they have are right here. That's disappointing. Anyways, let's go look around. See what else we can find. Uncle Ollie, my friend, your favorite nephew is back. I went out of town, but now we're back here in Greenville. Let's run inside. Let's see what you got for me tonight. All right, we walk right up here. Hey, Mario figures, what's that? That movie is movie figs. I'm not as interested in those, but right there is a box of Marvel Legends. Oh, Captain Carter, dang it. What's this? Bend and flex, something pink, no thank you. Oh crap, I'm gonna jade us here. Punch bug buggies. Jack specific dress vertical folded version. Oh that is. Hmm, we might have to get that after I get the camera out of my hands. Watch there to move. Oh, we got up here. Same old stuff. Now, let's see what's down. The main toy aisle. Fortnite, Black Panther. Ooh, what's that? What is that? Hmm. That's kind of cool. I think I've seen it before in here. I don't know. There's Roy Fucker. I didn't say a bad word, by the way. It's the name. F-O-C-K-E-R. Uh, still Lady J. Yeah. Joe fix it. Still got some red skulls back in here. Three of Mr. Schmidt. Still got some rogues. Kang, Loki, Jimmy Woo. Bucky Cap still at the butt. I mean, just Bucky. There's just a stupid Bucky Cap here. Every Ollie's I see people find those in. The stupid amounts of them. Still got some of the three packs. There's Kazim. Uh, he who remains, I'm getting thinking, uh, I wouldn't mind to build Conchu, but I don't know. I've got that figure. He is in here, the store somewhere. I got Red Skull now. I would need him. I would need a classic Loki and a Jimmy Woo, because I did trade my other classic Loki that I bought at Ollie's last year. Upgrade Shark. Still got a bunch of those down there. I could take my time and actually look at this stuff instead of just rambling my mouth and, you know, walking. Um. Black Widow Steel, Captain Carter. It was this, Antman. Well, we still gotta check the center aisle out there. They might have some stuff out there, so I'm not gonna say nothing different yet. But I think the first initial wave of Ollie's 
stuff has hit. I think we found about everything. I can't think of anything I was wanting to see that I haven't seen yet. Red Skull was the last one I was holding out for. And actually the one out of the current releases I was most excited for. That figure is awesome. Um, Spider-Man. I think that's Daredevil. Or Lady, uh, Lady Daredevil. It's been up there for a while. I've dug it before. It's one of the figures we've already seen from that wave. There's some archives. Star Wars. bunch of Star Wars there. There's Galen Urso. They have Bill Burr. Yep, there he is. Mix Mayfield. Bunch of those Leia's. Still got Carl Weathers. Hot Wheels Skates. Bunch of Killmongers and Ant-Man down there. Well, let's head out to the center cap and see if they got anything for us out there. Disney Racer, the Inquisitor. Huh. I haven't seen those before. It looks old, actually. I might have found it under something. Now my hand feels a little greasy. Let's not, let's not talk about that. Uh, all right. I don't see anything else. Let's get back to the center cap and just see what else they might have for us. The hunt is over. Now it's time to look at the spoils. What's the stuff we got from the hunt? Only one thing I bought from the retail hunt in this video. Before we get to that, I want to point out something. Check out back here on the shelf. Got my custom Ghost Rider I showed in the last video that I got at Ishcom back here on display. Love that thing. But let's take a look at what we bought, guys. Only one thing from the retail hunt. This is a figure line. I'm trying to tell myself to quit buying, but it was only four bucks. You know, from Ross, I apologize for the glare, guys. I'm using my laptop camera here instead of using my external camera, but I'm too lazy to set it up tonight. We did get the faker figure. Again, I'm trying to stay away from these things, but the coloring on this thing looks great. It was only four dollars. I mean, so I wanted to get this to go with what Masterverse figures that I do have. We did pick up faker to go in our Masterverse collection. All right, and the rest of this stuff is online pre-orders that came in. The first we're going to take a look at, I did get, I've got two of these. One reason I'm getting ready to take it out of package. I did get the retro card of Deadpool figure. This looks great. I've got the Toy Biz figure that this is kind of loosely based off of as well. I don't have it on card, but I still got mine loose from when I was a kid. But uh, this looks, I wanted a, a good classic comic Deadpool to have in the collection. And looking at pictures of this, that's probably going to serve that purpose. I'm going to take this one off card. I'm not going to do it here on the video. I'll do it later, but very excited to get that in. And anybody that ordered this thing, it does come in a little white shipper display box there if you get your Deadpool figure. I think I got that from Big Bad Toy Store. I wonder if I got it there, Entertainment Earth. Next thing I got came from Mattel Creations. I'm a big, huge fan of the Secret Wars comic book story for one, and then the um, old Marvel action figures. I can't, I don't know what company made those back in the day. Maybe Mattel, I don't know. But anyways, that was the first ever superhero action figures I ever had was those old Marvel Secret Wars figures. So I wanted to get this. It's based on the Hot Wheels Racer verse. If you've seen those little cars on shelves before, and this is the classic brown and yellow suit Wolverine, and then the black suit Spider Man. So I wanted to get that to go with my diecast collection. I'm probably going to stick this on the shelf, my Marvel Legends over there, to make people think I've got Secret Wars figures. <laughs> Alrighty, what do we got here next? Next was an Amazon exclusive. We've got the Cabal 3-pack. And right now, Doctor Doom is all the hype, you know, because Robert Downey Jr. has been announced to play him in the MCU. Not sure how I feel about that. That would probably be something for the toy news section. But uh, you got the Taskmaster, you got the Iron Patriot, and then you've got Doctor Doom. I don't have a good Doctor Doom Marvel Legends, so this one looked pretty sweet when this was announced. I wanted to get that one. It came in from Amazon. and uh, Again, it is Amazon exclusive, so if you want one of these 3-packs, I don't know if they're still available or not i assume they probably are but check amazon if you're wanting to get one of those uh, the next thing i got is a two pack that i got from big bad toy store and this is one we saw actually on the weekend toy hunt and i had to put it in front of the camera so i don't even know if you can see it or see anything right now as i can't see my little viewfinder but we did pick up the colossus and the juggernaut two pack uh, from big bad toy store passed on this thing the first time it was out glad was able to get this on a re-release uh, two of my favorite x-men characters colossus and juggernaut and just an awesome looking two pack with those guys in it but what else did we get here? We got something. William Golden sent a little care package. We're going to do some trading. I got to send him some stuff back in trade, but he did put an extra in there. He put us a Mythic Legion Knight. This thing does look sweet, and I got to say, Kelly, I think I like the Legions now. Don't get me wrong. I'm buying into them, but Kelly is more into the Legions than I am, so she's probably going to claim that more than me, but you know, I bought the dragon figure there from uh, Ishkon for Mythic Legions. Right now, I've got him fighting Better Ray Bill over there, so now I'm going to have to have this knight step in and help Better Ray take that dragon down but thank you William I do appreciate that sir 
And the last thing William sent is what we're going to be trading on. This is one figure I have wanted in the multiverse collection is the Batman who laughs from the merciless build a figure wave with the wings. Um, apparently I looked right over at Ishcon, didn't even see it, but William spotted it out and he grabbed it for me and we're going to trade a couple of figures for this one. So I'll send him some stuff back in trade and I got me a Batman who laughs with wings. Now, I'm going to have to pause for a second I got a box here also from Carlos. T3 Collect sent me some stuff, but he wanted me to open this on camera. He wanted to see my reaction. Now, Carlos, I will say I've already cut the tape on the box, but I have not yet looked inside. So give me just a second to clear my table off, get the box up here, and we'll see what's in the box. And here we are. Here is the box. Let's take a look and see what we got from T3. And what's in the box? Let's hope it's not Gwyneth Paltrow's head. And no, I'm not being trying to be weird or anything. Watch the movie Seven if you haven't seen it. It's a very good movie. But let's see what we got in here. We've got a piece of paper. That is awesome, dude. Thank you for that. That must be the surprise you were telling me about. Oh, look here. General Grievous's Starfighter. Now, if I'm not mistaken, when this was the thing I overlooked in a Walmart store. That was probably one of the first one of these chases I would have found if I'd been paying attention. Actually, I think William's the one that pointed that out to me. That kind of got me obsessed with trying to find these. Thank you, Carlos. I appreciate that, man. And again, we're doing a trade as well. So some of this stuff he sent me out of the kindness of his heart. Some of this stuff, I got to ship him some stuff back. But what else have we got in here? Oh, here we go. This is one figure I could not find until here recently, but he did find a Sportsmaster and picked it up for me. So thank you, sir. I do appreciate that. And I got to find places to put this stuff because I'm running out of room. What? Oh, that, oh, I forgot about this. He had this on a claim sale on his Instagram. I, I, I can't remember if I had this or not. This um, sort of uh, suit of swords Asriel figure. I think that I do, but he only wanted 10 bucks for it. And I thought, ah, for $10, I'm going to take a gamble in case I don't have this Asriel. But that's a pretty sweet looking, classic looking Asriel there. So we did get that one from T3 as well. Some good ads to the multiverse. Ah, uh, here we go. This was the one I could not find forever to complete this little set of Matchbox cars. He did find this one for me, number three of six. So now we're going to put that over there with our Matchbox diecast. Oh, and here's another one. This is one of these Zabu Build-A-Figure wave I wanted to get. He grabbed this when he was down in Southern California with, uh, with Salmon, but he did grab me a Kazar from the uh, Zabu Build-A-Figure wave. And last but not least, we've got a classic He-Man from Revelation. I, I need a power sword for one to go with my He-Man figure, so I really I appreciate that, sir. I've got that now to go with that. I seen him at Ollie's the other day, and actually I started to buy him, and I didn't, so I'm kind of glad now I passed. Now I've got the He-Man here with a classic shield and a power sword to go with my Motu figures. Only good He-Man I got is that battle armor. It come with the axe. I didn't have one with a good power sword. All right, guys, that's it for the hauls. Thank you, Lee, and thank you, Carlos, for the stuff. And the stuff that we're trading, I'll get my half sent out to you just as quick as I can, guys. But for now, let's take a look at just a little bit of toy news. Not much going on this week, but let's take a look and see what we got. All right, all you YouTube people, let's take a look at some toy news here. What we're going to talk about first is something in storage you might want to be looking for. And we're looking at Dark Side here from DC Multiverse from McFarlane Toys. This guy is starting to show up at Target stores. Now, I did talk to the manager at my local GameStop today. Well, not the local one to my home, but where I work in Bristol, Virginia. He said they will be getting the Dark Side figure, but he doesn't know when. But I know right now I've seen several people finding it in Target. So you've got a barcode on the screen here while I'm talking to you. That's the barcode for Dark Side. Take you a screenshot of it. Take it to your Target store. Get them to scan it and see if they've got one. We'll also take a look at the DCPI because it is here on the website if you want to have that instead. But the DCPI for Target store is 087-26-7972. So you can hopefully give that to your Target store there and see if yours has a Dark Side in stock. I did pass on this figure, guys. I'm If I see it in retail, I still don't think I'm going to pick it up. I don't know what it is about it. It's something to me. I just, I just can't like it. I don't know why. I and mean, you think I'd be crazy for this figure. I love the classic dark side look. I think it's the honestly the Julia Roberts pretty woman hooker boots that he's got on. I just don't I wish he had his regular old, you know, sh you know, calf high boots or whatever there instead of the thigh highs, but like I said, it's still a cool figure. I know a lot of people are excited about this cuz of the classic comic look of it. So hopefully if you missed it on pre-order, you can find it at a Target store and then later on keep checking your GameStops as well. 
Now, that's something that's hitting stores now you might want to be looking for. Let's take a look at some pre-orders. Uh, yesterday, a big tizzy. A lot of people in the collecting communities got their panties in a bunch over the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives from Hasbro. Um, Hasbro did put some of these online yesterday on Hasbro Pulse for pre-order. And they start at 1 o'clock if you're a Pulse Premium member. And you could get up to five of these things, which seemed to ruffle everybody's feathers. Or at least the death's head figure there. But uh, they did go at 2 p.m. Anybody could get them. By the time 2 p.m. came around, I did try to get a death's head. It was already sold out. It sold out to the Pulse Premium members. But they did put it back up for pre-order today, which today is Tuesday, August the 6th. And as of 10 o'clock p.m. on August the 6th, it is still available. It is still in stock. Plus, you got Big Bad Toy Stores got it now, Entertainment Earth, Amazon. You got other places to find it. So everybody got all tore out of shape for nothing. Now, this is the only one that I wanted from the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, mostly because of the box presentation is based on the Marvel Universe trading cards of Series 2 from back in the 90s. I've got that complete set of cards. Cards. I the first four sets of those Marvel Universe trading cards are just chef's kiss in my opinion for trading cards and I wanted this as an homage to that I wish it was a different character to be honest with you this head's cool but you know for this box presentation it'd been cool if it was a Spider-Man or you know a Venom or Captain America Wolverine one of the more mainstream characters but still this head's a cool obscure more obscure character not the mainstream one there so he was a cool choice and I did pre-order this um, Hella Dope Toys I want to give Hella Dope a shout out they also had this up for pre-order yesterday as well yesterday being August 5th they start at 7 p.m. I don't know if it's sold out on their site, but be sure to check them out as well if you're trying to find the Death's Head San Diego Comic Con exclusive from Hasbro. If you do go to the Pulse website, guys, you can go to the Comic-Con section here. That's what I'm looking at now. You can see the other stuff they've got up. This Transformers 2-pack with Optimus and Megatron. As of now, it's still in stock to order. Uh, right here is the other one that had everybody been out of shape yesterday. The Cobra Commander. And I'm only going to do this one time, but the once a man G.I. Joe classified but it, it sold out I will say it sold out yesterday as well but this did go back up this morning I saw it in stock probably around I don't know 10.30 this morning when I got on the, the Pulse app it showed it in stock and if you scroll down through here guys you can see some more but um, like I said check back on Pulse's website check the app because I've dealt with Hasbro Pulse for quite a while now and I have learned over the years that something might sell out even a pre-order but if you check the site about every day sometimes this stuff goes back up people will cancel pre-orders they might decide to you know have a, a, up the production run a little bit who knows why they do it but sometimes this stuff it does show sold out one day you'll go back the next day it'll show low stock or it'll show some uh, back in stock so just keep checking the website hopefully you missed one of these you'll be able to track them down but once again you want to see the rest of the stuff they got on here oh there's the michael knight transformer collaboration that's pretty cool we should got some kind of little we you know david hasselhoff figure to go with that to go with the car but again, you got a lot of cool stuff on here. Transformers, the, you know, the G.I. Joe, the Marvel Legend. So check it out if you want to see what else you can might can pre-order or order from San Diego Comic-Con exclusives from Hasbro Pulse. All right, our next thing, let's take a look at the HasLab. It is fully funded. Right now it's got 12,946 backers. It needs to get to 18,000 backers to unlock all three tiers. You still got, as the time I'm recording, 34 days. I do think it's going to make it to all three tiers, and I hope it does. Um, I'm still on the fence on this thing, guys. I might end up getting it. There's just two things that's keeping me from making that decision. Number one is cost. It is $325. Number two is space. Where would I put the freaking thing? The only place out here I can honestly put it, I'd have to hang it from line. I have to put it from the ceiling somewhere in here to have enough rooms. I do not have shelf space for it, I can tell you that much. It would look cool hanging from the ceiling, but I really want a $325 plane hanging over my head while I'm talking to all you guys. But I may end up getting it. Love the Rattler. Anybody that's got it, you know, congratulations. I think you're really going to enjoy when it comes in. And I think it'll get to all three tiers unlocked. And I really hope it does. You get some really cool figures with it if you get the next two tiers unlocked. So we'll see what happens as we get closer to the date we still got 30 will be 33 days by the time you see this video tomorrow 
All right, McFarlane Toys has got a few things. This I am not excited about, but I had to have something for the toy news section. But Best Buy exclusive. Now, as far as my collecting experience with DC Multiverse, I can't remember them doing a Best Buy exclusive before since I've been collecting. So it looks like he's branching out this little gold label thing here, making some store more stores exclusive to him just to drive us collectors crazy. But this is a pack here. I don't want this. I mean, I've got the Dark Knight Returns figures from DC Multiverse. I think that look pretty good with the build a horse way. I don't care much for the look of that Batman. The Robin's the only one that looks halfway decent. And then you got the, you know, the, the bondage S and M version of the mutant leader here. You got his pierced nipples or whatever the crap that is. But yeah, I, I'm not getting this one. It's based on the new Batman Adventures animated show. But um, if you're in, if that's what you like, if you love that show and you want this figure set, more power to you. Collect what you love. But you can go to BestBuy.com right now and pre-order this thing. And I would assume it'll be in stores as well. So it would be cool to look at it in person if we can catch one in a Best Buy. But as far as hunting, trying to find this thing to get it here on the shelf, I'm going to pass on this one. But it is up for pre-order now. I assume it is. I haven't checked the website to see if it has sold out. But you know, check Best Buy's website and see if you can get it. All right, another figure from McFarlane. This is up right now on the McFarlane Run Fair. That's McFarlane.runfair, R-U-N-F-A-I-R.com. You can register for a chance to buy the Platinum Asriel. I got to say, guys, as far as the Platinums I have seen in 2024, in my opinion, right there is your best looking one. And now he may come up with some more the rest of the year to blow it out of the water, but I love the Nightfall and Night's End, Night Quest, all that storyline back from the 90s. This looks awesome. I've got this figure in my collection. It looks great. A lot of people missed out on it. A lot of people were wanting it, so here's your chance if you're a member of this Run Fair thing to register and get it. Let's see how long you've got to uh, to enter. Okay, August 9th, 2024. So it will, on August 9th of 2024 at 3 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the launch will close. So once again, if you do want to uh, enter this, you're going to have to go to mcfarland.runfair.com, register your kind of account with this, and then enter it and see if you can win a chance to buy it. It's still going to be $22.99. They charge a flat rate of $8 shipping plus applicable sales tax. So you know if you can, I can get you one of these Asriel figures. Anybody that enters, best of luck. I hope you get this thing because I'm telling you, that is an awesome figure if you're on the fence about it or haven't never got to lay eyes on it. And it's a very popular figure. I have found this thing several times. You may have seen in my hunt videos. What you don't see is when I turn the camera off and I go back try to get a picture of it or something, most of the time, somebody's already grabbed it and took off with it. So it is very popular. If you, and Once again, anybody that enters that, good luck, and I hope you get one. I got one more thing I want to talk about really, really quick, and we're going to shut this off. But we got Robert Downey Jr. here on the screen. He's going to be Dr. Doom. I'm just going to say what I think about this. I'm not... I don't know. I'm on the fence. I can't see him being anyone but Iron Man. And I think if he's doing bad stuff and fighting the Avengers, I don't know if I'm going to be able to look at that as Doctor Doom fighting them or I'm going to look at it as Tony Stark fighting them. I'm hoping this is some kind of epic publicity swerve. If not, this is my theory on this thing, is that the MCU is pulling a WWE. Their popularity has been waning the last few movies. You can look at the box office receipts, critical reviews, and all that, and see that trend. It's not as popular as it was before Endgame. They went back to the well to get one of the classic stars to come back to excite you know, some interest in this stuff again. Now, People are going to watch it. I'm going to watch it eventually because I want to see him as Dr. Doom. But as far as being real, real thrilled about it, he, he's Iron Man. He's Tony Stark. He sacrificed himself to save us all from Thanos. How can he now be trying to destroy all of us? But it will be cool to see how they integrate that. The way they write the MCU movies, I think it's going to be something interesting. I'm kind of wanting to see what they do. But as if he is just a full-blown bad guy with no other callback to Tony Stark or Iron Man or anything like that, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But that is one thing that happened in the. As, as we'll be collecting those. You know, there's going to be a buttload of R D R D J Doctor Doom figures out by the time whatever movie he's in comes about. But we'll see what happens. I guess. What do you all think about? It? Are you excited about Robert Downey Jr. being Doctor Doom, or are you kind of like me and kind of only see him as Iron Man? Not too sure about that. Let me know what you think in the comments. But that is going to do it for another wild card. I know we're not calling it wild card Wednesday. Another Wednesday video from the Man Collects. Hope you did enjoy it. Uh, let's talk about social media. We got Instagram for the Man Collects. If you go to the My About page on YouTube, the description of this fine video you are watching or the splash on the screen, I will show you ways to find me on Instagram. The other form of social media, 
the YouTube channel, The Man Collects. If you are a first time viewer to my content or you've came back several times, not yet hit subscribe, consider clicking subscribe and see what comes down the pipe here on YouTube. That is it for the Wednesday video, guys. Hope you're having a great week. And don't forget that on Friday, the man comes back around.